Hello and welcome back to Infinite Remote Control. I'm John and here I have the Blade 350QX Pro FPV setup as I like to call it. So I actually built this for a client um, who will be doing some aerial surveillance and it all starts with the $500 Blade 350QX2 not the aerial photography version. Here we have the GoPro Hero 3 White Edition hooked up to the Hobby King Quantum Gimbal. And this gimbal is actually the best one I believe you can buy for the blade because if you look at how it mounts in here, it just hooks up with two screws. There's one screw right there and then there's a little bit of a better angle of the other screw and those actually go right into the stock uh, holes that the uh, Blade 350QX2 has to mount just the uh, the GoPro casing that it comes with uh, out of the box. So you just need two screws that come with the gimbal and uh, you just screw them right up through this plate and into the blade. It's really easy to figure out. And then here coming back you can see the gimbal controller and then that goes to a spectrum receiver. If you guys want to see what model that is, there you go. And I only have the uh, one of the axes set up on the gimbal to control. And then if you come back here, we actually have the FPV set up. So you can see we have a cloverleaf antenna and then I did some soldering. And the way that I got powered all of this is that I drilled a small hole and I soldered two uh, just standard servo uh, wires. Well, I took them off of a servo, but just standard small wires, positive and negative. And I soldered that into here um, right off of the positive and negative battery leads, which is really, again, simple to do. And so I just soldered straight onto there, but uh, it's it's the solder point is about right there within the quad. And then I just ran the wires down. And um, here, actually, I'll go ahead and plug these in. See if I can do that with one hand. And by doing that, come on over here and turn that on. And this one is the camera radio. We have two. So here you can see we have full control over the gimbal. And just depending on how you trim it out, you can have it at center stick. And then the gimbal can be centered or however you want it. Here I can just go up a little. And then you can see if we bring it here, the gimbal is actually it's a good gimbal for only $100. Nothing that I can really complain about. And basically just for aerial surveillance, all you need is the ability to look down. So I actually have that one running and then this one will run the quad. And then to turn the quad on, all you do is you just hit the little on switch, which is in the very back right there. And if you flip that on, there. Now, and for you guys that are wondering, yes, they do both bind separately, even though they're both Spectrum. Uh, yeah, so this is a great setup for just a beginner, fairly cheap uh, setup. If you're looking to get into aerial photography, it is a little bit heavier and these blades are inefficient, but those are all things that you can later tune to your liking. And uh, oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. Here we have the ground station set up that is fairly all in one, at least it all fits into this box. And again, just trying to do this with one hand for you guys, because I do want to show you. Here. So, come on. So, in here, we have a uh, FPV receiver right here and then we have the we don't actually need that 
Here we have the battery, which I'll show you in one second. And then we have the monitor. So this monitor was $100. It's decent, about 480 resolution, so not even full HD, but FPVs usually aren't even transmitting in uh, HD, so you don't need it. And what I did here was I just took the standard banana plugs, put in some four millimeter connectors, and then soldered those, if you can see, come on, focus, um, onto the plug that this came with, and then also soldered it out onto uh, the FPV in. So whenever you're giving power to this, always make sure that you have an antenna plugged in. But there you can see we have channel and the frequency displayed. And with this, you just follow it around, get this and plug it in. Come on. All right, now you just press the power button. You can see the uh, brilliant blue screen we have saying no signal. Yes, that's because I don't have everything connected right now. But just to show you how I have it is an all-in-one clean setup. You just have one wire running to there, and then both of these wires lead right back to a 5,000 milliamp hour. Uh, it's a low C rating, just because that makes it cheaper. Uh, but 5,000 milliamps, that's gonna last you for quite a few FPV sessions. Whenever you need to charge it, you just plug it right back into the included charger that this thing comes with, and it'll be charged up in about an hour and a half. Yeah, so that automatically shuts off. Has a nice visor on it. Let's see if I can put this on again, just with one hand. Much. All right, so there you go. That's what it looks like. And the FPV setup itself was a hundred dollars, or sorry, two hundred dollars. Hundred for the uh, receiver, and it did not come with these cloverleaf antennas. Uh, but for the receiver and the transmitter is $100 and then for this you've got another 100 and then for this is about 20 and then just wire soldering all that but it comes with mostly everything that you need so yeah that's the setup and as you can see we got the gimbal working we can aim it down and we can fly the quad up to a mile away with this setup so thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, be sure to post them up down below in the comments. I'm always happy to help you guys out if you have any questions as to how I did any of this because I know that it can be very confusing for those of you just starting out and people always have questions about how you did stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions, again, just post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. One more thing to point out is I did need to get the extended uh, landing gear for this. so. Together, this is just over a thousand dollar package. Not bad again for just getting into decent aerial surveillance equipment. Thank you for watching, and until next time, talk to you later.